Hello everybody, this is Greymerk. I just want to make a quick tutorial on how to get uh, roguelike dungeons, or probably a lot of different mods, um, uh, set up in a Eclipse workspace. So this is partly for my own, um, for the sake of me being able to reference this perhaps in the future in case I forget how to do it. So I'm going to create a workspace here called uh, whatever modding, and then I'm going to open the uh, the git git shell, which you can get from uh, from GitHub. It's the uh, it, um, GitHub has its own one that you can get. So I like to use the git shell. Um, that's just a preference at this point. So <clears throat> I'm going to switch to my home directory, desktop, modding, and Git clone. Uh, GitHub.com slash Gramer slash Minecraft dash look like. Now you can avoid this step by just downloading the zip file if you want. Um, and the Git, the clone and desktop will take you through the steps of doing it. Um, but this is how I work. So I just thought I'd show. Um, Okay, so now we got the Minecraft roguelike in there. You can go in here, and uh, so, uh, by the way, we're just following the steps that I've outlined here. I've actually created a wiki page in the Roguelike Dungeons wiki. So, this is the clone to desktop, so now we're going to Gradle W build. So we're going to put in this command. Um, what you do here... Um, So you can open this uh, in its own command window here um, by holding down shift and right clicking and then it, it has this uh, open command window here option, um, which well, I'll actually do it here. <laughs> so let's see, so cd, yeah, Minecraft, like make sure, make sure you're in this directory. So then you go Gradle W, oops, Gradle W, um, set up dev workspace eclipse the case is important i believe so it's going to do this whole bunch of stuff to set up the dev workspace um you need to have uh the minecraft client installed and everything for it to be able to get the resources um and again this i, I don't know I, I i assume that this workflow is subject to change so um this is just how i do it now uh, i'm hoping it doesn't change too much but uh you know never really know so it, it was able to skip a bunch of stuff because i've already done this before but when you do it the first time it'll probably do a whole bunch of downloading of various bits and bobs um so there it's done now now we get to open eclipse Oops, well actually it's already open, I don't need to open it again. So this is open in another workspace that I already have set up. Um, so we're going to switch to browse, uh, desktop, modding, and so it'll be the parent directory here, modding. Open. And now we are at um, the import project stage. So go to the workspace, file, import, general, double click existing, uh, browse, and again, desktop, modding. Minecraft roguelike, okay, and it'll have this checked, and then you just say finish, and then you'll now have this sitting in here. Um, so now you have to set up the run configurations, which is right here. Uh, this is the tricky part that uh, is the reason I need to document this, because there's just no way to remember all this stuff, so I need to be able to reference this. So we go uh, run configurations 
Java application. You can double click it and it opens up a new one. So I'm going to create client project. You can copy right out of here. And uh, main class arguments. PM apply create a new one called server Minecraft roguelike project main class apply and then close that and you should be good to go so oop wait a minute what happened there Java application, come on. Come on. I assume you can run it. Yeah, it's running. Why is that showing up in there? Oh, weird. Okay, well, anyway. So, that, that, that works. I don't know why that happened there, but uh, I don't know. I'll put an annotation if I figure it out or something. But anyway, you can, just, you can just run it from there and it works. So, we can create new world. This is the seed that I tend to use for testing. See what happens when I'm <laughs> recording on desktop and then I run the client. Should be good. Uh, should be nice and slow. Ooh. I don't have the sound uh, working in the dev environment. Um, I have yet to sort of figure that out, but I don't really need it, so I don't. I kind of don't care at this point. Um, by the way, there you go. So the towers there and everything. Um, anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, so where to find the code? The code is in Java. It's in all these. So yeah, that's about it. Um, you can actually make changes to the code here and then run it and you'll, you know, you'll see the changes, of course. Um, when you're done with that and if you wanted to make a jar, you just go Gradle W build. And it does a bunch of stuff. Build successful. It's under bill libs. There's the uh, there's the jar. So that's uh, pretty much all you need to know. Um. So yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> that should do you well. I'll put a link in the description to Lex's uh, video about how to do this as well. Um, I'll probably be able to figure out some better ways over time of doing this and that but uh, he also has videos about combining um, combining multiple mods into one workspace and stuff like that um, but this is just how I've been doing my work so anyway thanks for watching hopefully this is helpful um, yeah again you know I I put it up on github because I want people to be able to uh, 
play with it and run it. I know that people have been scratching their heads over the whole Gradle thing, but I mean, I don't know. It's it's really kind of not that complicated. It's just a brick wall if you don't know what you're supposed to do, and that's kind of all there is to it. It's like you either know how to do it or you don't, and it's really sort of um, that can be problematic if there aren't good instructions, so I'm just putting this here because uh, it seems necessary. <laughs> anyway, um, have a good one.